Oh, yeah, shoot! The up version of the UFO 3 Series. Welcome everybody to today's <laughs> episode. We're here to do a test drive segment on Justin's E90. It is a four door, beautiful blue TE37 having son of a gun, 335 high M Sport. What does that mean? Does that mean it's turboed? It has twin scroll turbo. It does have the M bumpers and side skirts. It has MHD tuned. Turboed. Our buddy Frankie Butelli has a black one of these. Um, oh, it comes with the. Oh, wow. Straight from the factory? That's one, dude. Yeah. Dude, the dealer gave you that? That's what's up. So, our buddy Frankie Butelli has one of these with bash bars all the way around it. It is not the turbo model, it's actually the stock inline six naturally aspirated setup. I think so. And it's pretty fast. It's actually pretty quick. It's probably as fast as your M3. Because I think I raced him in my old M3. And he was with me. Yeah, 95. An old black one. Her name was Black Betty. Yes, we do. Yes. So check this thing out. Full carbon everything. Stickers everywhere. TE37. Custom exhaust. Custom exhaust. Give me that, give me that fire up. Start it up. Do we need any tips and tricks with driving your car? Angle? <laughs> you got angle anywhere, everywhere, 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 everywhere. Angle, everything. Oh. All the gutters, everything. Yeah, you're a little, uh, yeah, you're a little lower than Mark. Not too bad though, so we should be all right. Let's go. Oh, what is this? Oh, whoops. Digital dash, GPS. Daryl's here to co-pilot today and he's gonna help film. So if the shots are crap. <laughs> wow, that's what your, a that's jerk. That's guy right there. Ooh, electric seats. Hey. Electric seats, look at, look, at, look at this, watch, watch, watch. Hey, hey, dog, your sparkles ain't got nothing on that. Dang. Dang. Yeah. Good. All right. Just, all right. Right. just that lumbar, you, your bolster. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> just the lumbar, the bolster, <laughs> everything. Oh, God. Check this out. Panel shifters. Up, down, up, down, right in here. And then you could also just shift it here, right? Up, you down. could. And you got gauges here. It gives you uh, boost. boost. You got battery voltage. Transmission temperature. You got engine temp, coolant temp, temp ratio, intake temperature. So when something hits something wrong, what, what numbers should I be looking for? Bad Probably numbers. Probably just monitor that oil temp, which is at 154 right now. So it's relatively cool right now. One's, one's up. Uh, Just make sure temps around 240. 240? Don't let, don't let it hit past 260. Yeah, 260. Okay. But angle up really hard on this one. All right. Uh, they said drive at JDM, so here we go. <laughs> drive at JDM. See, here's my problem with new cars. My problem is they're too freaking nice. Meaning that... Oh, the lip! I already went over it on one side. Oh, yeah. You're late, bro. <laughs> You're late to the party. Dude, my bad, my bad. The problem I have with new cars is that they're so quiet and so unattached to the floor, it always seems like, that I feel like I can't feel anything. But we'll see how this car feels. Oh, it's already faster than Mark's car. <laughs> it's already faster than You went like 25 miles an hour. And it already dude. feels faster. That's just oh, a lot. Goodness. All right, let's go for a drive. Oh! Definitely already faster. You know, like, that feeling you get in your stomach when you're going super fast? Ugh! The tingly sensation? Yeah, dude, like, this car has it, the other one doesn't. This one definitely feels <laughs> way faster. Hell yeah. Easily faster than an M3 E36. Obviously, it's inline six and turbo, so clearly it should be faster. But we just got to drive. I didn't get to film that for you guys. We just got to drive Mark's car, and Mark has a '95 M3 or something like that. Not as fast as anywhere near, and his is stick shift. The only 
only thing I don't like about this is that it is automatic. Let's give her a run. Second to third. It's definitely a lot smoother. So you can shift a lot smoother. But it's not the same as stick shift. It's just not the same. I don't know that it'll ever be the same as stick shift. Especially after going from a dog box to this. I, I feel like, like I can, you. yeah, this is a total downgrade. <laughs> like I could shift so much faster in my car than this. I'm sure that there's automatic transmissions out there that have panel shifters on them that can shift in point blah, blah, blah seconds. But I still feel like I can go faster. I feel like you're box. just like a control freak though. You just like want to control everything. I do, I don't like <laughs> it. I don't like that I can't feel certain things. Or, no, that's good. It's you good. know? But I like being in control too. Wink, but wink. We got, we got AC on. I'm gonna turn that off because I got a little loud wind wise. We got the AC going right now, which I don't have in my car. We got tinted windows, which I also don't have in my car. We have probably a decent sound system. Definitely you a decent don't sound system. Have in your car. That I don't have in my car. And I can actually have a full blown conversation in this car. Yeah. Which I can't do in my car. No. Without having some kind of vocal cord issues afterward. I like this thing a lot. But with every nice car, there's always that wow factor. What's the wow factor in this car? The wow factor in this car? I think like, it's wow, I'm going to get this car because of what? The heated seats. Of all things. Are you serious, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really been able to like really drive it. The turbos feel good. Yeah. They kick in really well. I, I like that. Like, I probably have like the dumbest face on like this YouTube video. I like your face is probably fine. We'll let people comment. Comment if you think Daryl's oh, face God. is dumb. Check it out. The turbos feel good. I like that there's a good decent amount of acceleration without a wheel spin. Which is nice for like a daily or when you're trying to like mess with somebody. Here we go. that you have to shift a little bit before red line to get it to work right. Like if I shift just before it. It stays. It stays like in a really good power band where it's like a constant pull. This thing's bad, dude. I like this car. But can it do it, don't it? I don't know. <laughs> did we get permission to do that? I don't think we did. How about we but, not show up? <laughs> but we also didn't get permission to do a donut in Brad's car. <laughs> so I feel like it's only fair for the test drive segment, guys. It even downshifts pretty smooth. It does have a little bit of rubbing because of his ride height. But other than that, it's not bad. It's a very, very smooth car. It's a classy car, too. I'm, it's very classy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, if you went to go pick up your girlfriend in this car, her parents would not be like, what is he driving? They'd be like, dang, where do I buy one? <laughs> it's true. I'm interested now to drive Frankie's car. Frankie's car, we're gonna be doing the uh, the welded diff swap on his car soon after we get his axles fixed. And once we do that, he's gonna let us drift it. So I'm very interested in seeing what this car feels like, but a gutted version of it, a, a six speed version of it, and a version of it with coilovers and a welded diff. The GPS is pretty up to date, so that's kind of cool. Show the people that. This is pretty much like real live time, like we're going to be turning right right now. Let's see if it turns. Oh yeah, so that would be lovely. This system right here, if it got good signal in the mountains, which I'm not sure, if it did and it was like foggy and you're out on a mountain road, that would be great. Because we used to live up in uh, like Running Springs, California, and it used to get so foggy, dude, you couldn't see like 15 feet in front of you trying to drive on a mountain road which was super sketchy it did not make for good driving but we did have a gps that's the only reason that comes into my mind like dude if we did have a gps this would be the uh this would definitely be very useful for mountain roads in those kind of conditions let's go say hi to justin and see if we can get him to give us permission about doing a donut or a burnout or something in his car if justin lets us do a donut or a burnout in his car you have to go follow him. 
you have to go follow Solo Mission. You have to just go subscribe to their channel, follow them on Instagram, everything. Okay. I was gonna ask you if we can do a donut. Yeah, oh, I love this guy, yes. dude. Yeah. All right, here we go. So I've never done a donut in like a panel shifted car, and I'm not actually too sure on how to do it. All right, let's see if we can do a donut. Oh, it's kind of weak. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it was definitely a weak donut. Yeah. But he still let us try, so. That was good. That's weird. You gotta like build up the turbos before it does anything. I don't like that V8 life, bro. Power on top. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to build up a turbo to get power. I want to have power ready to go. Let's see what Justin has to say. We totally forgot to ask you for advice on how to do a donut in this thing. Does it have an LSD in it? No, it doesn't. That uh, makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense because we we totally did a donut, but it like it like one wheel. Way, yeah, it was. It, it kind of started to started yeah. to go. And then I've it, done one like S transition before in the, in the rain. Right. I'll say this: your car is really comfortable, and I really like it. Super comfortable. I would like to drive something like this in the mountains on like a nice windy road. I know that Frankie has his E90, and he flies up the mountains by his house like stupid fast like you should be dead fast his is all like slammed and coil over but he's gonna let me drive his car but we're gonna put a welded dip in it and he just installed a hydraulic handbrake so shit. once the welded dips in and it's six speed oh shit dude yeah it's gonna be fun look at this freaking thing all nice leather interior okay electric seats heated seats it has twin squirrels and gerbils. Oh, uh, it is fast. It's pretty low up front. Got a little battle scar damage from the canyon runs the other day. There's Mark's slow car. Look at this freaking car, dude. It's so beautiful. This color is so freaking nice. I don't know why, but so far on our test drive videos, all we've driven is blue cars. And I think our next test drive video might be uh, Ryan Castro's E36, which is also a blue car. I don't know what the blue car thing is, but we got to get off this and get onto another test drive video with a different colored car. What about uh, the white Porsche? A white Porsche? Well, I'm down to drive a white Porsche. Who's got a white Porsche? Um, sorry, the information is very classified. Okay, well, possible white Porsche in the future, Mark says. Here's Mark's E36. Oh, dude, you should get close up on the condor bushings. Oh, Condor Speed Shop? You guys Christina, already know. Yeah, Christina, you guys already know Condor's where it's at. If you don't have Condor bushings on your BMW, you're doing it wrong. Coilovers. What kind of coilovers do you have on your car, Justin? Owens. Owens, road and track. Owens, same ones that they got on supercars and Lambos and Ferraris. Okay, okay. You big boy, you do that. Big boy stuff. TE37s, those are real. Those are real. Show, wait, guys, show them the no. stamps. Where are the stamps? You guys show the stamps. Not, not, not Lotus. Not Rotos. Made in Japan. Forge. Monoblox, homie. And what really matters, that motorsports hardware. That, spacer, that track light spacer. Oh, see it's all cut out. I'm telling you guys, that unsprung weight stuff, all of it matters. I'm telling you, bro. Keep it light, keep it tight. I'm not big on blue, but this is a freaking nice blue. The Mons Blue? Yeah. 335i, N55. And it's the last year of its kind, E90 gen. The last year of the E90. So beautiful. Last thing I do is the dip, the that's it. I just don't know what else to tell you guys about it because I'm kind of like in awe. It's just too smooth. I wish I had something to like say that was bad about it. The only thing bad is like the auto train. Yeah, it's just so nice. Everything's just so smooth about it. While you're driving? Yeah. Did you like yeah, turn yeah. off the feature where you yeah. can't? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, digital screen, everything, dude. It's so freaking nice. I really just like it a lot. I don't know what to say about it. I would love to like 
eventually get out in one of these cars and go fast with it, like on an actual road or something or some kind of course. But dang, your car's freaking smooth. Super smooth, dude. All right, guys, we're gonna head out of here. Anyways, take us out, bro. Solo mission it up. Yeah.